Alright guys, welcome to your 7th tutorial, and in this lesson I'm going to show you guys how to add additional attributes to classes aside from the ones you inherit. So say that, you know, we have this program, this database animal program selling, and it is selling like hotcakes. People are loving this thing. They can run this program, store all of their dogs, cats, and fish in this Ruby database, and a bunch of zoos are buying it, and a bunch of different pet shops. However, we've been getting some complaints that the people who store fish, they also want to store the, let's say they want to store the type of fish. Is it a perch? Is it a goldfish? Is it a bass? Well, in order to add an additional attribute that you can store, we need to rewrite the fish class so it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and rewrite this fish class. So class fish inherit everything from animal so go ahead and hit enter now before we end this class we need to add an additional attribute which is type so go ahead and write a t t r underscore assessor type now go ahead and hit enter and now hit end so check out what we did just did unlike before where we just inherited all of these attributes name age and trait from animal the fish class is a little bit different what this first line means is fish is going to inherit everything from animal but what the second line means is it also has an additional attribute called type so while dog and cat have name age and trait the fish class is going to be able to store name age trait and type of fish okay simple enough now that's what I say, but do you guys really believe me, Bucky Roberts? You never, you never even met me. Let's go ahead and test this baby out. So let's go ahead and create a fish object. And remember, whenever we have an object, that's how we access the attributes. So fish equals fish dot new. Basically, we're creating a new fish object from the fish class, and that's where that new keyword comes in. It's a new object. So now what we can do, of course, that's where it's stored on our computer, is we can give our fish our name, an age, and a type. So fish, name, what's a good name for a fish? Bubbles? I got one. Nemo. There we go. So our fish's name is Nemo. And uh, fish's age, um, how old was Nemo? How old was he? Like three, maybe? I don't know. Nemo is three. And uh, let's go ahead and give... Uh, Nemo type so fish type what the heck was he he was like orange and white striped I'm just gonna say that Nemo was a goldfish even though I know he was not if anyone knows what type of fish uh, Nemo was go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section and please let me know so go ahead and store that and check it out now check this out even though we didn't give him a uh, trait yet Nemo has a name an age and a type. Now remember, the type is only specific to that fish class. A dog and a cat cannot have a type because we only put that type attribute in our fish class as an additional attribute. So what happens whenever we try to give this type to something like a dog or a cat? Well, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and make a new dog object. So dog equals dog new we're making a new object called dog and it's from the dog class and of course it's a new object so now we need to give this dog a name so dog name equals Floyd now remember all of the animals are able to have names so this should work out properly which it does now let's go ahead and give this dog a trait so dog trait now remember all animals also can have traits such as annoying so this should work out but the one thing that a dog can't have is a type only fish can have type so if you try to give this dog a type such as I don't know a hound I said that kinda of weird I said hound a hound I meant now we go ahead and hit enter and check it out it says whoa 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 no method error yada 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 at this memory okay basically it's yelling at us saying okay you have an error because only the fish class has the type attribute. Dogs can't have types. They can only have name, age, and trait. 
only fish can have type because that's an additional attribute that you added in the fish class whenever you made the fish class. So just remember, anytime you're using an object and you give it um, an attribute that it shouldn't have, you're going to get an error that looks like this. So basically we got this because only the fish class can have the type attribute, not the dog and not the cat either. So there is your quick example on classes, creating objects, inheritance, and also how to add additional attributes to classes that need them. So I know this is a lot and guys I want to mention this. If you are feeling lost right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything I just want to give you guys kind of a quick example of all Ruby has to offer, but in the upcoming tutorials, I'm going to break everything up and take things slow, piece by piece by piece, and trust me, stick with these tutorials even if you're feeling lost, and by the end of this video series, you guys are going to be the best Ruby programmers ever. So I just want to give you those words of encouragement because I know I'm going kind of fast, but trust me, it gets easier. So thank you guys for watching. One last time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to add me on Google+, and I'll see you guys in the next video.